Hello beautiful Capricorns, this is Maria Lane and I have an oracle message for you for February 2015. Um, and I always ask the universe for some um, creative inspiration before I start these recordings and this month I was guided to do um, something different as I do every month. I had all of my cards, I don't know whether you can see them behind, I won't adjust the camera, but I've got about 25 packs, I think, I haven't stopped to count, and I laid them all out, and then I randomly selected five, and from those five packs I selected five cards, and here they are. So we have a beautiful flow of cards for you Capricorn, and I'm going to share them with you in just a moment. I just want to say that if you feel inspired um, to watch your rising sign or your moon sign video, feel free to do so because I believe that's just a, um, a guidance from your inner being saying that there's some other messages embedded in those videos. So do whatever feels right for you. There's no right or wrong in this instance. It's just following your, um, on your inspiration and it'll always take you down the right path. Okay, so now the message. The first card I have called upon is the Spirit Message um, Oracle Pack. They're my brand new pack, the latest one from John Holland. And Capricorn, you've been guided to listen, and I'll just read the words to you. It says, you have been, you have to be willing to listen if you really want to understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be com a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what is being said, but what lies behind those words. So I think you're being asked to, to feel, to feel the essence of the words that are being shared with you. Because remember, everything's not always what it seems. There's always more going on than we have privy to seeing. And that's why I always like to, um, to guide, you know, take a bird's eye view of an event, rise above an event and look down and see more of the picture. But in this instance, it's hear more, hear of what's not really being said. Trust that intuition of yours, because I think someone um, is really wanting your, um, your support and compassion at this point in time. And I think you know who it might be. Um, now, the next card is coming from the Energy Oracle Pack. And we've got the attachment card and whenever I see this card my guidance is always the same you're looking at an event um, and you're attached to it and you're being guided to look the other way because what you're seeing um, is just holding you perhaps in that event and when we have our focus on something whether it's good or otherwise it locks us in it's like we're frozen and we're attached to it now if you're looking at something that's really pleasing you and, and delights you and excites you keep that attachment going that's awesome but if it's the opposite and generally this is what this card indicates um, it's time to see things differently do things differently take your focus off of that event if that's what you need to do now the next card is these beautiful oracle inspiration messages and you've got the blessings card and I'm so delighted to share this one with you Capricorn and I'll just read the words to you. Blessings, you're being showered with light, your creativity is being stirred, activated, set alight, an endless stream of rainbow colour stems from your heart. Oh what a wonderful card. So I'd like you to spend a few moments whenever you remember these words to close your eyes and see this rainbow energy and just filtering all over you and take a beautiful deep breath in and inhale this wonderful blessing. Visualize it, feel it, because that's where everything is. It's behind the feeling. Whatever you feel, you can create. It doesn't matter if it's not in your existence yet. It's like if you're, if you're wanting love, you have to feel love so that you can attract it into your life. If you're looking for more abundance, then you have to feel abundant. I'm getting goosebumps because I know what's coming. And then abundance can flow to you. Because look, sorry, this is really cool. Da, 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 you've got abundance coming in. So how wonderful is that? Just remember, feel it. Everything starts with the feeling first. That is the, the first step in manifestation. So really um, take some time once you're breathing in that beautiful golden universal blessing feel that abundant energy flowing to you as well and the final card today Capricorn in your beautiful February message is the throat chakra so at the beginning of this reading you're guided to listen and feel those words that are not being said but at the end of the month you're going to get an opportunity to speak to see maybe share your side of events 
and where, please wait until it feels right. I think I may have shared with you in a previous video, maybe not Capricorn, but my criteria always is words spoken in anger or haste or under the wrong conditions will not be well received and probably inflame the event. But if you can get yourself into a good feeling place first, then share what needs to be released, completely different outcome. And I'm speaking from experience when I did this last month, I spoke in haste, I went against my own guidance here and I got exactly what I put out there. So I really hope February treats you extremely well Capricorn. I know you're coming out of a rough period but having said that though 2015 is a completely different year. It is the year of abundance and wonder and prosperity. So I think you know you're going to be leaving me messages. I'm just you know, putting it out there to say how wonderful this month has been. Okay everyone Lots of universal love coming to you and I look forward to sharing another message with you in March. Bye.